Abdul Fatawu was a game changer <clears throat> when he came on. And Facundo Buonanotte <clears throat> as well, who has scored again, what, his third goal of the season. Both of those players look like great players for the for Leicester this season. And although Buonanotte has got to return to his club after this season, surely he's going to make a name for himself this season from what we've seen so far. Yeah, he's a, re- he's a fan favourite already, isn't he? I know Leicester fans absolutely love him, um, what they've seen. And he's a player of so much quality. I think he offers a lot to that team in terms of um, going forward, but defensively as well, gets stuck in and he loves a challenge. Um, but I just think they've shown a lot of promising signs, this Leicester team over the last few weeks. I think if you look at that Arsenal game, you know, where they were close to yeah, yeah. to gain something. Unlucky even, really, yeah. Um I think to show that they've got that steel and that mentality to hang on in there and not take a thrashing. I think that shows a lot. Um because I think that's a question I had to be honest before the beginning of the season, watching them in the championship last year. I just wondered yeah. whether they still got that kind of experience, whether that will help them. Um, they've got, obviously got that players, obviously like Whitfast, and just you know, I think James Justin's performed really well when he's coming yeah, this season cool. as well. But they've got a lot of young players in there as well who lack a bit of experience. But I think there's those experienced players given that guidance, um, and like uh, to have a coach like Steve Cooper to to be able to to manage them. Um, I think it's really helped them. Um, and I, like you say, I think we we wondered whether they'd score enough goals. Just all of yeah. a sudden, starting to create chances. Um, and I think it, what is great, actually, I think Steve Cooper's realised this is he's got a squad there to depend on. Like there's there's, there's options. Like yeah. you can bring with Fataru to come come on and put in performance like that. And to be able to get that kind of performance out players, it shows that they're wanting to play for this coach as well. Not only that, but I mean, the first half was a completely different game. Like Southampton went 2-0 up. I mm. mean, the fans, you could tell how unhappy they were. 3,000 odd travelling Leicester fans, which is amazing for away support as well. Really shown their unhappiness at how Leicester performed. And Southampton looked like, looked like they could have scored loads more. And there was talk about the 9-0 that Leicester inflicted on them a couple of years back. That was never going to happen this time around. But it was an uphill battle at half time. So for Steve Cooper to kind of make the necessary changes, obviously for mm-hmm. Tarwi will get the headlines. But I thought bringing Harry Winks on as well made a real difference in midfield. Like you said, Dave, there's a good bench there. But that for performance from for Tarwi, what is he? Twenty years old, so direct, always going down the right and cutting in, and the defenders just couldn't deal with it, could they? No, and. That was a question for me. I think with their attack, it's relatively experienced. You got Fataru there, who's, who's not got any mm. real experience at this at this top level, um, and then obviously you know Mavididi, who again you know, is lacking experience. Really, any Premier League experience is so. It's whether they could do it at this level, and I think the you know there's there's an answer there that I think they can well I think they can definitely make make an impact you know whether yeah. it's it's always going to be difficult to I think to to maintain them sort of levels for 90 minutes and there's going to be time throughout the season where they'll drop an absolute stinker but I think showing and having those moments like Fataru he's a match winner I, f- I feel he's got real potential to be a top top player um, and he'll create those moments that shot that hit the ball was oh. would have been Gorgeous shot. That would have probably been one of yeah. the goals of the season if that had gone in. Um, but they've they've got some quite um, precocious talents in there, I think, and each of them offers something a little bit different. And I think they'll need that. 